Hey, how's it going guys? Let's just get right into this new video. Um, I adopted 100 docs. This is the name of Mr. Beast's new video. It already has 10 million views in over three hours, guys. But what you might not know is that Mr. Beast is under fire right now on Twitter. A lot of dog activists are really unhappy with his treatment of these animals in this video. And I bet you're wondering like why? I mean, he's helping these dogs. Um, he's he's giving them a good home. He's, um, he's adopting them. Um, well, I'm gonna be breaking down exactly why every Everybody is so angry about this video and maybe why you should be angry as well um, and make sure to like and subscribe if you like videos like this I do a lot of breakdowns on my channel but anyway guys let's just get right into the video all of these dogs have in common is that they were abandoned or rescued from kill shelters. So you can see right there, guys, um, he's putting a dog in a cage. Uh, the dog can bust with a cage that comes out of flames, um, and that doesn't seem like safe conditions for a dog, guys. Um, the dog doesn't seem to mind too much, but also dogs maybe aren't too smart, and they don't realize when they're in danger, guys. So he's really putting these helpless animals uh, off the streets, but then putting them in cages. Um, you can even see a wall of cages behind them. This is a hellscape for animals. Um, so I I understand why people are so upset. Let's let's keep going though. Some of them would have even been dead by the time and this video was uploaded. Which is why I brought all of them here to this massive dog sanctuary to get Okay, so here's here's one thing I just want to point out is that a lot of stray dogs um, do live pretty happy lives. They're happy to be living their own freedom. Uh, but here you can see that Mr. Beast has oh, enslaved them. He's put them on leashes. Um, they never asked to be put on leashes. They're, this is kind of like the white savior complex that a lot of people have, especially Mr. Beast, where he's just basically saying, hey, um, I'm going to save you by enslaving you and putting you on a leash. Um, the dog had the ability to have all these freedoms go wherever he wants. And now Mr. Beast is saying, I saved you by putting you on a leash. And this is where things get a little bit out of control with Mr. Beast. As you can see, he has put all of them in these giant cubes. And you can tell that where this is going. It's basically going into one of these Squid Game videos. There's going to be a challenge, and they're going to have a game and see who wins the dogs. They're basically putting these dogs' lives um, as ransom for internet views. Taking this video, we have an army of trainers, walkers, and even an entire team dedicated to giving the dogs scratches. Okay, and I want to say that um, they say that they have an entire team dedicated to giving dogs scratches. They look like a lot of, um, what, what's the word? They don't look like they're professionals. They don't look like they know about dogs, and they're going to go and make the dogs have to put up with these people who aren't professionals, who don't know how to give scratches, scratches who don't know how to take care and groom these dogs guys so these dogs are really just going to have a pretty sad time they're just not going to be very happy with the conditions that they're in and uh these people are just going to be tormenting them they're basically zoo animals at this point guys um and i don't know about you guys but if i was a stray i'd be happier than if i was a zoo animal for some weird human zoo they get lots of love i want the doggos happy and the doggos were happy so as you can see here he's saying that they're happy um, he's really imprinting his own emotions on dogs but as we know from a lot of studies people um, you can see dogs like they show like they they look happy um, when they smile like they go ha, ha, ha. but it doesn't actually mean that they're happy it actually means that they're stressed um, and if you've actually looked into a bit of a rabbit hole Pete has done some studies into this and we should actually just release all the dogs out on the streets especially once the first adopter showed up welcome come on in <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna adopt a dog? Even so we have this guy right here, and he's gonna come and adopt a dog. Let's see what happens. I already have one. <laughs> yes, we want a small dog to be friends with this guy. And if you're wondering where these two random people came from, we spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on a statewide ad campaign to get as many people here as possible. What do you think? Okay, there's quite a lot of things wrong with this. First of all, they're bringing this guy in, and he's picking a dog that he wants. Um, that's really kind of unethical. Like, he should just take what he can get. Um, they're trying to help these dogs, so he shouldn't pick. Like, it's it's kind of weird. Like, when you adopt, you don't pick your child. That's kind of weird. You When you give birth, you don't pick what your child is going to be like. They just become who they are. So that's a little unethical. Um, you can see they don't take their lives seriously by naming them things like Biscuit. Um, and then you can also see... Hang on. 
They spent all this money on advertisement, and the advertisement, um, they said hundreds of thousands of dollars. Do you know how much food and dog food they could have done? This is for a hundred dogs. They could have, they could have fed or like possibly funded these places to not to stay longer and keep these dogs alive instead of killing them at these kill shelters. Uh, but instead, they're spending it on these stupid little mini trailers. It doesn't even look like a full length of a car. It looks like too thin. Statewide ad campaign to get as many people. It seems like a total waste of time. Like, what is a hundred dogs, a hundred thousand dollars? That's like. That's like three hundred dollars a dog. That could have been like towards their dog food um, or really anything else. As possible. What do you think of Biscuit? Oh, she's cute. If you're interested, we can take him to the park and let them play together. And if you can't hear in the background, they tried to edit it out, I think. Um, but you can hear all the dogs are barking. They're all super uncomfortable. They're not ready to be um, taken into like a house. Maybe they were living on the street and they miss their home. They miss their street. Um, you can also tell right here just a little note blink and you miss it they are numbered dogs they are freaky numbered they don't actually have any meaning to them they are farm animals they are treating them like farm animals oh, that would be amazing. oh they're running together yes we love oh her. my gosh you want to proceed to the next step yes please we love her so <laughs> much <laughs> down it's just like so so freaking disgusting dude it's so disgusting Mr. Beast, why are you doing this? Let's skip her head a little bit. We're talking about all these dogs getting adopted. Um, how do you think that last dog is going to feel when no one adopted him? Even if he does get adopted, there's going to be like a feeling of like, wow, no one got you first? That kind of sucks. No one wanted you. And while people are coming to adopt, neither dog seemed to fit what they were looking And then they put all these X's on the floor as if they're, like, dead? Dude, like, what is going on? Like, what is going on with this video? We don't actually have any small dogs left. I was really looking for, like, a younger dog. That dog is so thin! They're barely feeding them, too! Look how thin this dog is! His tummy is so thin, dude! He's long as hell! He is a thin dog. Small dogs? Sadly, we don't have any more. We were starting to worry that we wouldn't find these two a home, and there was nothing left to do but wait. Star Crunch and Dora Lee. Oh, how's it going? It, it, this is the point where I'm like, okay, this is getting ridiculous. They want to keep the format. They want to keep the format, so they have to keep the cubes out. But there's such a giant open space that they could be out playing, and why do why even keep them in the cube at that point? There's two dogs left. Just let them run around. Hi. These are our final two. It's like the last pick in dodgeball. I'm looking for this one. All right. Star Crunch can be incredibly shy when she meets new people, but Star Crunch gravity. And also, how many of these people are showing up to get a dog, right? But they're really there to see Mr. Beast. And uh, maybe they don't actually want the dog, but they don't want to disappoint Mr. Beast. So instead, they get the dog, and then they trash them somewhere and leave them abandoned again. Like, how devastating is that? It feels... This just kind of leans into the whole weird dystopian uh, Mr. Beast format that we've all come to know at this point. You're watching all these dogs get adopted. No. Dorley. And even though it was exciting to watch Star Crunch get adopted, it was sad to see Dorley all by herself. Dorley. She's actually sad. She's I, actually sad. I don't actually know what happens in this part of the video. I didn't make it this far. And now we have one. And we're going to give whoever adopts Dorley over there an even bigger surprise than everyone else. And she's the only dog left. She doesn't need a kennel. This entire building is her kennel. Okay, I have to give them points for that. They actually did let her run around. Be sure to give Dorley all the attention the last dog deserved as we waited and waited and waited until finally one person walked in. How's it going, man? All right, let's see what happens. Oh, she seems so to like good. you. Yeah, uh, she was saved after being abandoned during Hurricane Adalia, and now uh, she's Ooh. just looking for a forever home. I think she just found one. But before you can take Dorley home... Yeah, again, you can see she's panting right there. I know. That means she is nervous. She feels like she's on black.com. Like, uh, she's surrounded by all these guys, and she's about to get gangbanged. She's looking for a forever home. I think she just found one. But before you can take Dorley home, one person has to approve of it. I keep seeing her here. If no one takes her home, I'll take her. How's it going? I need you to give your blessing, okay? I feel super happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna give him the paperwork. Take care. Congratulations. 
Dave Ballista. Is that like their Mr. Beast slumlord? I, I don't really know what's going on here, guys. But anyway, guys, you can tell why this video is not doing so hot. It's got 10 million views, and uh, you can't see right now because I don't have the plug-in. Or maybe they disabled it, I'm not sure. But the dislikes are actually equal to the likes, so there's like about a million dislikes and a million likes. So people are really split on this. Like, a lot of people are watching the video like, oh, no harm, no foul. It was a fun, entertaining video. And some people are really looking into the darker side of this video, guys, and exactly what Mr. Beast is doing and why it's so wrong. Uh, but let me know down in the comments, what do you think? Um, do you think we should cancel him for this? Or do you think uh, maybe we should give him the benefit of the doubt? Maybe he didn't try to do it. But again, maybe based on his other previous videos, it's pretty easy to tell that maybe he has some darker ulterior motives with wanting people to fight and enslaving animals. Uh, just all those things. But anyways, guys, let's just uh, end the video there. But I'll talk to y'all later.